HCW Systems present Electrical Components of the System. Mark Andre Martel, head technician at HCW. So, we've received our underfloor heating system, and it obviously includes a certain number of electrical components. The different parts arrive in bulk and need to be installed in various locations around the home. Now we're going to have a look at the different electrical components that come with the system. To begin with, there's a transformer here. I was wondering what that does. Well, the transformer is basically used to convert 120 volt current to a 24 volt current. So basically your electrical contractor will run a high voltage wire and connect it to the transformer. Okay, because the system uses low voltage components. That's right. Basically all the components, whether you're talking about thermostats or zoning panels, work on a 24 volt AC okay, great. current. And the system includes this small box just to hide the electrical connections. That's exactly right. Basically, all the necessary electrical connections can be made inside the box, and it gives the system a much cleaner look. Great! Of course, we've set up everything in one spot for this demonstration, but a real home would have a separate thermostat in each zone. And here we have what's called a zoning panel. I see here that this particular zoning panel has six zones. Can you explain a little about what it does? Yes, so here's what happens in the zoning panel. To begin with, like you were just saying, every room in the house has its own thermostat. That means a cable needs to be run from the thermostat location to the mechanical room where the zoning panel will be located. Okay. We usually use three-wire LVT cable to Great. make the connection. Okay, all the thermostat wires need to be labeled and fed inside here where they'll be connected. Perfect. So here we have six thermostats. We'll start by connecting them to the proper terminals you can see here on the zoning panel. So we connect the thermostats here on top. Yes, that's right. Great. We're also going to connect the 24 volt power supply we talked about earlier to activate the zoning panel. Perfect. And if we follow the wire, we can see that the zoning panel is connected directly to the underfloor heating system. And here's one of the devices you were talking about earlier, an actuator. Can you explain how it works, what it does? In a nutshell, actuators open and close the corresponding circuits based on requests received from the thermostat. Perfect. So, if there's a circuit with several loops, we connect two actuators to the same set of terminals on the zoning panel. Perfect. You install the actuators after purging the system like we did before. I see. We're just going to unscrew one of the little blue plugs here. The actuator, when we open the casing, it has a little ring right here. Okay. We're going to screw it on where the cap was. And then we'll go ahead and clip the actuator onto the ring. That's it. As simple as that. So, if I understand correctly, this will serve as an electronic switch for the circuit, and it will be connected to the thermostat, one in each room of the house. That's right, the actuator is connected to here. When the thermostat calls for heat, it activates the actuator, or else it turns off once the demand for heat has been met. Great, I think that pretty much covers all the electrical components. And what if people have questions about the connections? If someone wants to know exactly how the different components are wired, is that information available? Our website provides all the electrical diagrams for information purposes. You'll find the basic information there. The diagrams show how to connect the thermostats and the actuators. Of course, the most important thing is to hire an electrical contractor to make the connections. But the basic information is there. All you need to do is follow the wiring diagram. You can see where the boiler cable is connected, and you can see how the pump okay, is wired. Okay, that's perfect. But that's all high voltage wiring, so a master electrician needs to make the connections. Well, there you go. That's all there is to it. Thank you, Mark Andre. Thank you. Watch our other videos. Thank you for choosing HCW Systems.